What do you think someone almost can't understand about fame until you've had it? Well, first of all, it's uncouth to even talk about it because it is a position that a lot of people covet. Desire. Right? Yes. So to even talk about it in a way that is complex can come off as ingratitude, right? Um, which you don't want to have because you are grateful, you are grateful. for, Every day you for have this, this tremendous job. opportunity. Sure. Sure. But like you also have feelings of like loneliness or paranoia or fear or all these things. And while you can no longer just work them out in the space, you just sort of have to find your safe places, which I am still finding. Um, part of me is torn because it's like, yeah, you shouldn't show the ugly parts of fame because people would kill to be in your position. But then part of me is like, you want to destroy the myth of like the red carpet. And I mean that even in terms of like Instagram, like it's like the highlight reel of our lives. Because if you look at somebody's life on Instagram, you think everything's perfect and then you are sitting alone with your feelings and you're like, nobody else is having these. I am alone. That's harmful. And I think the reason we go seek out art it's because other people are like, no, I'm going to show you this ugly side, this vulnerable side, this hard side of me. And then you see that and you're like, oh, I'm not alone. But takes a, that takes a certain type of courage. And I'm still like navigating how to like, how and if it should at all be applicable in my public life. Um, because it is, it used to be like so easy. Like my life I lead should be in line with my values and my principles. That's it. It's not that way anymore because if you do something that is in the larger picture in line with your values and principles, but in the smaller picture isn't, that can become your total, the, your entire story. Right, and, and your story can get drowned out by the reaction to, to your action. Yeah, so I don't know, it's like, but do you change and cater your authenticity to somebody else's reduction of you? Or do you just continue being your authentic self? I actually don't have an answer for that. Um, because, you know, there's also an argument that like, well, there is an authentic self of you that is a little bit more <laughs> like publicly appropriate. Yeah. But when you pick and choose, when you cherry pick your authenticity, that's like your Instagram reel, right? right? That's when those moments of loneliness, those moments that people need because they're feeling so alone and isolated and they're seeing everybody else's pic lives on the screen, that's what people need. I really don't know because you also have to take care of yourself. Um, and I think taking care of yourself means trying to expose, not expose your private life too much. Hey folks, thanks for watching. If you like what you just saw, then why not subscribe? Click right here for lots more off camera. And if you wanna see the hour long version of these conversations, I'm gonna give you the secret link. Here it is, offcamera.com. Check it out. <laughs>